Rush Lights is the story of Sarah and Billy, two delinquent teenagers from Los Angeles who traveled to Texas, falsely claiming a dead friend's inheritance. Unbelievable. I mean, you guys could be twins. I play a character named Billy Brody. I mean, he's basically just a young kid who hasn't always had the best hand dealt to him. He's kind of from the streets. He's been in trouble a lot. <laughs> Billy's a, he's an exciting character because he's young. And he can be a loose cannon. Listen, I know my rights. Can I go I bet you do know your rights. I bet you had a lot of scrapes with the law. In this movie, Rush Lights, I play Sheriff Robert Brod. He's a small town uh, sheriff in Texas. Kind of a good old boy. Six or seven Blue Hill Camino, Rats uh, Last to play Q74436. That is correct, sir. And you could identify him if you saw him again. It's a real thriller, and you're peeling the onion, you kind of find out more and more about people as the story goes on. I got a piece of news for you, it's gonna knock your socks off. That was one of the things I responded to it. I, I like that aspect of it. My name is Haley Webb, and I play Sarah. Sarah is a bit of a lost soul. She got pretty heavy into drugs. Listen to me, you need help. You're wrong. She's a really sweet person who I think just fell into the wrong world in the wrong circumstances. Sorry to bother you at this hour. What can we do for you, Sheriff? Stop me! I'm the lawyer who takes care of the estate and I'm there ostensibly to help them. So that show you around the property? Sure. And a whole bunch of hijinks, things keep happening, burglaries, murders, this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> There's been a little hiccup in your case. In a way, Aiden and I are, are somewhat kind of each other's nemesis in this in this movie, and he is intent, and it's exciting to kind of really play off of him and take his energy and try to spin it back. Are you trying to blackmail me? Because I'll wipe the fucking floor with you. They're really, really both very talented and really sweet and fun to be around, and it was great work with them. Action. The film is uh, in the noir style, and uh, our director has a real vision of how he wants it to look. And he's also an, an artist. He showed me initially a whole bunch of his uh, artwork. And you can see his sense of style is very strong. The look of this film, I think, is extremely important. You know? And uh, I think they're, they're pulling it off. Anthony has a very specific vision for what he wants in every aspect of the film. He knows exactly what he wants from each character, knows exactly how he wants the shots to look, knows exactly what he wants. So it makes it easy to know what you're doing and, and to know that you're in good hands. You know, he's very, very focused. He's got very strong ideas about what he wants, but he's been really open about letting me bring whatever I bring to the character, to the project. He's just been great to work with. It's almost like a jockey and a horse. You know, he, he kind of, he coaxes me on the right track. What exactly are you up to, boss? Just keep your eyes and ears open, Earl. My daddy always taught me to check where you least expect to find anything. We were super lucky to also have fantastic secondary characters, such as Jordan Bridges, who is Bo Bridges' son, and also plays his deputy in the film, Lorna Raver, and uh, Joel McKinnon Miller. Because it's a thriller, crime, drama kind of film, there's a lot of stylized lighting, some stylized camera work. You know, you want to see and smell and, and hear it, and that's there. That's, you know, the movie-going experience. It's like a mind game within the movie with the actors and also with the audience, I think, a little bit. I guarantee you it's not going to end up the way you think it's going to end up. <laughs>